guys, Dave Scott here, and we are back! Yeah! How's it feeling with somebody steal your thing? Huh? Silly tuck, you know who you are. You know what you did. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, man. What is going on, everybody? This is Dave Scott here, and right now I am back with another episode of Total Extreme Wrestling 2013 for you guys, and today we're going to be the next episode of WWE! And tonight is our first ever episode of WWE Main Events. Now, there's something that I needed to do. Uh, okay. All right, so I already went that. Uh, the mod was very unbalanced, as uh, a lot of people needed to turn. And a lot of people were heels when they should have been faces and all that good stuff. But, you know. Whatever. It. We're just going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a crap load of attacks on the pre-show just to get everybody turned and set up and all that. So... All good. Let's get right into NXT. I'm going to set the baby in real time. I'm currently editing another video, so that's why it might be a little slow. So, uh, yeah, that's that. All right, let me go ahead and turn this into real time to make it as fast as possible, because that's what I like to do for you guys. All right. So I reviewed the videos I previously recorded. Uh, this is being recorded currently on 4-3, uh, April, April 3rd. I recorded the last one on April. Um, <sighs> Come on, Dave, spit it out. I recorded the last one on April uh, 2nd, which was yesterday. So, yeah. NXT! <laughs> so, for NXT tonight, we're going to be in... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sh Midwest. That is where we are going to be tonight. Hope you guys all enjoy. Oh, we haven't had a... Yeah, we have. I'm just being stupid. Yes, we have Midwest within the past five weeks. So we've held there. Whatever. Uh, Target Center for tonight. That's going to be good. So... I'm going to go ahead, uh, see who's turning and who needs to be turned, so I can go ahead and get that done. Uh, yeah, 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 disposition, anyone who is turning. So we have Barrett still needing to turn. He it's been for five seconds, all right. So we need Murphy, Kalisto, Cassidy, Corbin, and Neville. All right, so I think all of them, okay. So all of them need to turn. He Okay, no, never mind. So, let me go ahead and get Neville. So, he's in a storyline with that. So, I'm going to have Neville attack Joe on the pre-show. You know what? That can actually... S nah, nah, nah. Pre-show, pre-show. Alright. Um, Smo Joe. Adrian Neville on the pre-show. There we go. Or... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can turn to either, so I can kill two birds with one stone here. And I need to turn... What else do I need to turn? I need to turn Colin Cass... I'll do Colin Cassidy. No, no, no. Um, yeah, whatever. It's, it's very random, I know. I'm not paying attention to this at all. I'm just trying to get turns here. Alright, Murphy... Kali starts, so I'm going to do another backstage attack. Two on two. Uh, Sankara and Kalisto. As you know, it, um, Murphy and Blake. Sankara, Kalisto. There we go. That'll kill three turns. I think Cassidy is the only one left after that. And I want to have a face turn. Has face turn. Two participants. There we go. Waiting. Okay, so. Um. Oh, good grief. <laughs> okay, um. We're just gonna have a. I just have a pose down between, uh, Con Cassidy and Bold MC. Because <laughs> why not? Alright, so those are going to bomb terribly, but I'm just going to, you know, get that done. So that's out of the way. So we have our turns, and then we have storylines. Six people here. 
Zane, Neville, and... Yeah, okay, so... Five, uh, five guys, excuse me. So I'm going to have Zane and Neville versus... Gargano and Breeze. Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville, Johnny Gargano, Tyler Breeze. There we go. For a 12 minutes. Actually, uh, it should probably be more like 9 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to give Gargano the win in a decisive open script with Sammy to lose. There we go. That is our so that's our main event for tonight. And then women's title Bailey and Sasha. I'll have a number one match. Actually, a triple threat number one contenders match. Here we go. Women's division between Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte or Candice LeRae. There we go. Sets so that Bailey open decisive. Uh, pinning Charlotte. All right, we have to do ten for a triple threat. All right, so there we go, triple threat, and then in ring heated confrontation between Bailey and Sasha Banks. So I don't know what you. Oh, whoa, that was a bad sentence. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a pretty big fan of Sasha Banks. I am. And then, I think that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something happened. It's all good, people. We're back. Alright, NXT Tag Team is Lucha Dragons, right? Yep. Okay. And so, I'll have a 1v1... Uh, Sin Cara versus Aiden English. That would be the better of the two to do things. Okay, with. All right. English, tainted, open. Car's mad. Oh, wow. No, he's actually not. All right. So, 60% matches. That's it's what I hate. NXT is mostly matches, but, you know, yeah, whatever. All right. So, Alliance... Um, actually, you know what? So I, I meant to do that. <laughs> I hope I'm not talking too loud into my microphone. Um, backstage, tag, team. Okay, um, no, um, tag team warming up. So, we'll have Zane warm up. Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville. Okay, then we'll have, um, backstage interview, JoJo Interviano, okay, for three minutes, uh, yeah, there we go, and then we'll do a... I'm going to write an angle here. So. Yeah, just bear with me, guys. I'm not going to talk to this. Gonna just let me type it up. So. We get straight into matches. Because, you know, Roar the Crowd is, um, uh, NXT song. Should be Tom Phillips, Renee Young, and Corey Graves. I'm, I think I have Saxon instead. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Alright, um, NXT opening. There we go. Not opening. Alright, so... I think hype and talk would be the ones, yeah. Hype. Cool. So, that's that. Tom Phillips, Renee, Corey Graves. 
And I don't think that Tom Phillips is our announcer. I'm trying to keep this angle short here like in real life. Let me make sure I'm going to switch Tom Phillips from Byron Saxton, I think. Yeah, Tom Phillips. He looks like a little rat. <laughs> okay, um, Tom. Tom. And Tom. Alright. So that's six more minutes. We'll do a Joe Hype video. Uh singles video. There we go. Samoa Joe hyping up his appearance. Who we don't have yet. Oh yes we do. Why do I always skip over his name? Alright, just for the heck of just going 10 minutes on this, just to finish it. Alright, so there we go, guys. That is our main event for NXT. It is time to run these shows. So let's get right into it and get these turns done. So. Complete success. Wow, alright. So get Neville. Yep. And then get Murphy and Blake. Alright, so there we go. Our turns have gone okay. So we start off the show. That's actually pretty good. The roar of the crowd. Stomp your feet to the ground. Give it all to me now. Because it calls, calls, calls for it. NXT opens up with the commentators who have tonight's show as we get straight into matches. Corey Graves needs a suit in this picture. 42D, that's pretty good. And that's actually really good, actually. And about that, I saw an in reaction, but non-existent crowd heat. Bailey defeated Candice LeRae and Charlotte in 946. When uh, Bailey defeated Charlie by pinfall with a hugplex, uh, Candice LeRae has an 80. In the ring, Bailey and Sasha Banks have a heated exchange of words, but are broken up before anything can go down. Uh, JoJo is backstage with Johnny Gargano, talking about his upcoming match. 44D, that's pretty good. And about that, a solid reaction when not in the crowd heat. Aiden English defeated Sin in Cara in 747 by pinfall after using a foreign object. Uh, music video was shown to promote Samoa Joe, which is cool. The cameras cut backstage to where we find Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville warming up. And our main event of the night got a 59C. That's good. In a match that's good action, not much in the late heat. Johnny Gargano and Tyler Breeze defeated Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville in 10.08 when Johnny Gargano defeated Sami Zayn by pinfall with a Hertz Donut. And that is the show. And that actually got a 55C-. minus. That's pretty good. I was expecting a lot less than that. Alright, everybody. We are back here with SmackDown booked in. Uh, this is, uh, seems pretty good. I might actually cancel SmackDown. I am not sure, because, um, it might be holding me down from WrestleMania. And I also do the NJPW series, which also delays, you know, the progress and all that. But, I don't know, leave your comment sections below, um, if you, um, if you want to see SmackDown continue. I mean, I'll cancel it if you guys think that it's, uh, taking too long to get through the, um, to get through the... Serious. So yeah, guys. Um, hope you all enjoyed. This is WWE SmackDown, and here we go. So we start off the match, and the match has some good action. Never cheat. Rusev def defeated Chris Mordetsky in 6:47 by submission with the accolade. 73B minus action, pretty good. These results from WWE SmackDown being held by WWE is being held in front of 9,500 people in the Minnesota Target Center and is being taped for television. Cool. Reset performing and performance skills. Uh, they engage the crowd well. That's cool. So we start off with our pyro, black and blue. I crowd you. The show starts with an impressive opening pyro before the lights are raised. You know, same old stuff. John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Batista are all hyped. And all that good stuff. Usual thing, starting off, Paul Heyman, you know, same day, different promo. I mean, same promo, different day, or whatever. Um, Brian comes out and talks about, you know, because I can't have Brock really that much, so I just have to do this over and over and over again. 98A star, that's awesome. Wow, that's cool. I just had that squash match for Daniel Bryan, but about the future great action, good crowd. Daniel Bryan defeated Fandango in 6-13 by submission with a yes lock. Got an 89A, that's really, actually, that's really good, actually. That was cool. Well booked match. Daniel Bryan doesn't like going out in six minutes. All right. Cool. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Did you hear my voice there? <laughs> Chris Jericho has an interview by Renee Young in which he goes off on a rant on how much he hates Kevin Owens, basically talking about the trilogy. 
uh, how they how they attacked him last week, and then the trilogy come out. Oh, oh wait, no. Michael Cole and JBL helped hype the trilogy to the moon. 52 D plus, and then we have in a match that's good action, not much in the way. He the trilogy: Kevin Owens, Hideo Tommy, and Finn Balor defeated Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods in 10:20 when Kofi Kingston, when Kevin Owens defeated Xavier Woods by pinfall with F clink. Big E was off his game. No worker improvements. Cool. Just trying to get these guys over. Hideo can't speak English, which kind of sucks. I'm going to have to cheat and edit that. He speaks passable English, but I don't think that counts on a promo still. Um, Kevin Owens hyping up the trilogy. 58 seat minus, sorry. So that's cool. In the match, that's some good action. Not much in the way. Heat R&R &R defeated the Usos in 7 3 when Eric Rowan defeated Jay Uso by pinfall. I know it's face v face. I'm just trying to, you know. I'm actually trying to make R&R &R look like a threat to these guys. Because, <laughs> I mean, they're like the laughable tag team right now. So I just, uh. I just want to make them, you know, look like a threat and all that. And basic thing, Rusev comes down, John Cena interrupts, hype in WrestleMania, all that good stuff. And then we have it about the feature great action and average heat. Ryback defeated the Big Show in 739 by pinfall with the Shell Shock. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 70C plus. The video plays hyping Austin Aries and Dolph Ziggler versus Kane and Seth Rollins. Uh, that's the match at Mania. And then we move on to... Alicia Fox and uh, Brie Bell have great chemistry. That's pretty good. And about that solid in reaction, not much in the way. Alicia Fox defeated Brie Bell in 623 by pinfall with a what show face following botched interference. Following botched interference by Nikki Bella. Because, you know, uh, Nikki pinned Brie last week due to uh, booking by Silly Tuck. So I thought I might roll with that. The Bell Twins. Ha oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. I meant to have AJ and Paige taunt Bellas after that. So, whatever. Cool. And the match that actually any reaction to great heat from the audience. Seth Rollins defeated Randy Orton in 1802 by disqualification. Did I call that in ring? Yeah, I did. So, um, apparently these guys don't have really good psychology. But whatever. We got three penalties and so many bonuses, which is awesome to see. And then 95 base star Randy Orton is celebrating his victory in the ring. Seth Rollins and Batista run in an attack, beating Randy Orton down the map. But, um, for the beatings too bad, Danny Bryan runs down to the ring to help Randy Orton. And then Triple H interrupts Danny Ryan and Randy Orton uh, to tell them that next day, that next week on Raw they'll face Kane and Batista. So they delete that. I've already done that. So that's our main event for ne uh, next Raw. We have Danny Bryan and Randy Orton over Batista and who was it? Kane, I think. I think. Yeah, but Tuesday King. All right, cool. And the show, the show overall got us an 85 B plus, increasing our popularity in 38 regions. That's really nice. So that's a pretty good show. I am um, happy with that. I'm really happy with the way NXT went. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing that. So yeah. And guys, I will see you all at the main title screen. All right, everyone, we are back here at the main title screen. SmackDown sold out the Target Center. What? Ah, uh, whatever. Screw you. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Not a lot of uh, anything. We don't have any emails or decisions, which makes me a sad panda. Just, just my mic. All right, Dolph has moved into the creative meeting, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's good. And, um, Bailey. <laughs> yeah, Borsing Car and Kalisto and Sasha and all that, so. Whatever. Who's on the time decline? Hidden gems, anybody? Anybody? Anybody at all? Adam Cole, Jimmy Jacobs, Davy Richards, Teddy Hart, Cliff Compton. No thanks. Or actually, you know who I could bring in? Is Brian Kendrick. I know he was brought in once. Who's better, him or Rhino? Uh, Rhino. Rhino's actually, um, pretty good. He's good on the mic. Who's better on the mic? Kendrick or Rhino? I'm assuming... I know. Yeah, it's Rhino's better on the mic. Why can't I type? Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna bring Rhino in for NXT. Try and get him down as low as possible. 55.60. I can do that. I can do that. He's only willing to go down $50. Alright. 
So, is there anything else? Adrian Neville, what's he met? Oh, I'm just going to give him $10,000 to shut up. So, I won't be seeing that again. And Murphy, yes, I know you're mad because you didn't turn good. Brie Bella has big morale issues because she couldn't stand to um, take the loss to Alicia. But I am going to do something so I don't care. If morale affects. Because you leave everything at the door. No matter what happens. Alright. So I have a storyline roundup real quick. 95A star. 80B. 90A. 72B minus. 77B. 54C minus. I see title. Just plain weird. NXT. Okay. Um. Uh. Just plain weird. Okay. Yeah. They still have to fight. Tag titles. Alright. Diva's okay. That's good. It's bad. It's bad. But anyways, yeah. I think I'm going to keep SmackDown around because if I cancel SmackDown, I'm only going to have NXT. Which is kind of bad. Um, keep those around. The only thing I hate is that it, t it takes me forever to get to this stuff because I have to do NJPW in the middle of it, uh, too. But, you know, I guess that's the fun part, just, you know, waiting and seeing. And also I have another one that I play. I'll show you guys real quick if you would like to see my other WWE series that I play. We check out the WWE 999. It was from Real World, uh, August 2014. And we have here, I play as Triple H. So that's a custom picture. I just signed my first graduate from my dojo. His name is Elmer Drebin. So he's not very good at all. <laughs> my... Champion is Seth Rollins, who's, hold, who's held the title since December of 2014, custom picture as well. And it's currently October 2015, so giving him a really long reign. That's an awesome picture, though. Uh, here are my franchise players, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. Uh, Daniel Bryan's a heel in my game. Uh, my last show was a 92A. Um, Justin Gabriel is a major player in my game. And you see here, I have him as a main eventer. He's the WWE. He's the money in the bank holder. 86. So I'm really happy with this. I'm looking towards Hell in a Cell. Rusev and Roman are feuding. I'll show you my champions real quick. Roman has been my champion since February. Again, I said it's uh, October. Uh, Rollins has been my champ since December. Bailey has been my Divas champ since she just won it off of Paige. Um, Divas Money in the Bank is something I created. Paige won that once. Uh, Intercontinental currently is Dolph Ziggler, who's a face, held it since August. Money in the Bank, Justin Gabriel won it in, um, well, I had to actually create the thing that he won it in July, I think, or June. Yeah, I think it was June. Uh, United States is AJ Styles since September, and our World Tag Team is Bad News Brits, Zack Sabre Jr., who's Bonnaby Swift III, and Bad News Barrett. So, yeah, storylines I have going on are Bray and Seth, uh, Ambrose and Randy, Brian and Ziggler, um, Cesaro, Roman, and Rusev. Uh, Roman's about to get uh, phased out as Rusev is about to win the world title and he's going to feud with Cesaro. Then I'll have Roman and Gabriel go into some kind of feud. Tag team titles, the Jacksons versus the Bad News Brits versus Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville, otherwise known as Red Arrow Rising. Uh, Bailey did it, AJ, Bailey, uh, and Paige. And Cheerleader Melissa, who's the Tamina 2.0 for AJ. And uh, U.S. title, Big Red, or Crimson, AJ Styles, and Adam Powers, Adam Cole. So yeah, it's pretty good. $78 million, global company, that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get back to my game, then I'm going to end this episode. And you guys let me know how that, uh, that little really close to the mic, little close to the mic action sounded. I hope it sounded good. If it Leave it in the comments section below. Yeah, I guess that was going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smack that like button and comment down below and subscribe if you want anyone to see more content like this. Thumbs up for the new the new intro. Hope you all like it. It's uh, slower than my last one. You can actually see my name in the hashtag AJ Lee guy in the bottom. Got some cool effects. Love the rock song. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it as well. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and, um, yeah, that's about it. Keep subscribing up there and comment down below. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, something happened in my throat there. Let's try that again. Keep subscribing up there and comment down below. And I will see you next time, guys.